Hello everybody, Mike Daniels here with Rancho Coastal Properties, property management. And today I wanna to talk to you about something that a lot of landlords and investors don't think too much about when renting their places. And the main point of these videos is to give you tips on how to protect your asset and the rent that you're getting and make things more profitable for you. So let's dive right into it. What we're gonna talk about today is lack of use. So let's say for instance, you're renting a house with a pool or a washer and dryer that you're providing for a tenant. Now, under California Civil Code 1941.1, the landlord is obligated to keep the property in habitable condition. These are things like the, what are necessary, the, the water, the foundations of the house, the, uh, the heater, things like that, things that make the property a safe place for the tenant to live, uh, making sure that the, the roof does not leak, things like that. So, but there are other amenities that do not apply. Check your local, uh, your local codes for those of you who live up in San Francisco and Los Angeles, but uh, a washer and dryer, a pool that you may have in the backyard, a tennis court, pickleball, a gym that may be in a community that the tenant's moving into that your house is in, uh, has an HOA with a gym or pickleball or pool or tennis. Sometimes those things go down. Um, sometimes you may have a property that that you own that has a pool and it might need to be replastered. And so the, the downtime may be substantial, could be up to a month. And a lot of times uh, you'll have a tenant that, or I should say sometimes you'll have a tenant that might try to capitalize on the downtime and ask you for a rent deduction on the rent. So what can you do? You can add a clause to your lease that states that uh, the landlord would not be responsible for temporary unavailability of non-essential amenities like a pool, a washer, dryer during maintenance or repair and such unavailability will not affect rental payments. So plugging this into your lease could be a real money saver for you because how are you going to break down what a pool cost per month? And a lot of people rent pools with houses because they just need a place to live. It, it wasn't so much that they had, the, had to have the pool but the house just happened to be in the right school district or the right neighborhood and it came with the pool anyways. And uh, you don't wanna be uh, taken advantage of by trying to do an improvement on your pool and having the tenant ask for deduction of non-use. So um, here at Ranch Coast Properties, if we manage your property, don't worry, we got you covered. We'll put the clause in there for you. And for those of you who are out there who are self-managing uh, investors, whatever the case might be, feel free to use our website ranchocoastalproperties.com as a resource for you and future videos. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.